Yeah. So dear, dear guests, dear gentlemen, dear ladies, dear planners, <laughs> dear future thinkers, um, I kindly ask you to take seat because we will have a very special musical performance tonight. Um, as you know, there is this German tradition of neue Musik, new music, is that a bit in that direction? I don't know. And um, I kindly may introduce Mr. Professor Haidu, Georg Haidu, from the um, University of Music and Theater here in Hamburg. And he, thank you, thank you. And he has arranged a very special musical piece for this evening. He's composer, he's music teacher, music researcher, you could say. And he has created a musical piece that reflects, as I learned on Tel Aviv, and for me on the question how to transform urbanistic concepts into sound. I don't know if that's correct, but Mr. Haidu may tell you more. So welcome Mr. Haidu with a warm applause and the ensemb his ensemble. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very honored to be here tonight uh, on um, this occasion. Uh, thanks to the Behörde für Stadtentwicklung and uh, Wohnen uh, for bringing us here, for uh, giving us the opportunity to uh, perform this piece called Blueprint. Um, we also formed a, an ensemble called the Blueprint Ensemble. On this occasion, uh, I would like to present the, the members of the ensemble very quick. Asya Patayeva, soprano sax. Christian, yeah. Christian Zivas, electric guitar. Kristen Kulkep, double bass. Valeria Miros, piano, and Lin Chen, percussion. A few brief words about this piece. Um, what you're seeing here is the general plan of Tel Aviv, a city that was founded in 1909. So it's a very young city. And um, my piece is basically about the, uh, the utopia of uh, building a city uh, and making it a reality. And so I composed um, the six movements, which in certain ways relate to that square which you see here in the Sir Patrick Geddes's general plan. Uh, Sir Patrick Geddes was a Scottish botanist and city planner who also was a, um, a pioneer in city planning in the early part of the 20th century and he was also majorly involved in building, uh, in planning Tel Aviv as an English garden city. Uh, it looks quite different now. Um, but anyway, um, what, what you will see as a leitmotiv uh, between all the movements, because the movements are in certain ways connected in some hidden ways, um, you will see architectural elements of the, of the hexagon, hexagon, and you will also see that the connecting element is uh, are the colors white and blue, which will always pop up in one way or the other. Um, without fur further ado, I would say we start with the piece, and um, I would like you to maybe refrain from talking. I know it's difficult because you have just found new friends and it's important to communicate, but it would be nice if we could have your full attention for the next 12 minutes.
Constructive effort are a new beginning in healthy upgrowth, capable not only of survival but of fuller cultivation also, towards varied flower and fruit. Flower in regional and civic literature and history, art and science. Fruit in social renewal of towns and cities, small and great. Such renewal involves ever-increasing domestic and individual well-being. And these a productive efficiency in which art may again vitalize and orchestrate the industries as of old. With civic energies and life thus renewing from within, and the bettered condition of the people kept clearly in view, the interior circulation and the larger communications from without will become all the clearer and be surer than before of constructive efficiency and artistic effect. For civic considerations have to illuminate and control geographic ones, as well as conversely. Utopia, then, lies in the city around us, and it must be planned and realized here or nowhere by us as its citizens. Each a citizen of both the actual and the ideal city, seen increasingly as one. It is now coming to the turn of the student of housing and of hygiene to add his contribution, and to review the whole sad history of labor to its concrete resultants. In place, and work, and folk. In folk, and work, and place.
Thank you, Professor Haidu and his ensemble blueprint for making us part of this debut premiere, you could say. And I think we all got a little glimpse on what is us going to expect us on these corridors acoustically. So.
for today. This is the official part of the program. Of course, you are invited to stay a little longer here and to start working probably.